The Rugby World Cup will be held in Asia for the first time this year and the Japan tournament should be unique with fans and supporters from around the world set to soak up all the land of the rising sun has to offer. It's the first time the cup has been outside the traditional nations such as New Zealand and England. So what can those travelling to watch the tournament expect? Rugby reporter Joe Porter caught up with 2011 World Cup winner Corey Jane who spent two seasons playing in Tokyo alongside fellow former All Blacks Liam Meesom and Richard Kahui and first asked him about his favourite off-field activities including karaoke. Massive over there, karaoke. You get over there and it's as cheap as chips you pay like a couple, you know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, all you can eat, all you can kind of drink and um, you just sit on the karaoke and, and go crazy after a game and food places I found that the smaller um, raggedy looking places were actually the best places, you know, you can go to the big fancy and all that, they were good, but you find that little hidden gem somewhere and you're like looking and you're like, well, that's probably as a D rating, but food was outstanding and there's just something to do on every corner and I think that's what people are going to love about it. The lights are big and you know they put on a show over there when you walk down the streets and all that kind of stuff. For instance, I was with my family when they came over and theme park on everybody corner. So you know, we'd go to one 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 theme park and there'd be roller coasters and all that kind of stuff. Then we'd go to Disneyland, which wasn't too far. There's Disney Sea and then Tokyo Dome and just every weekend or every day that I had off, there was something to do for the family. It was it was cool. Did you and the family like just, you know, wandering around in the evening on some of those big pedestrian crossings with all the lights and what's going on and just soaking up that energy? Yeah, in Shibuya. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we were over there when it was Halloween as well. And they just, they embraced it. Not like we do here in New Zealand, they're like America. And we, um, we tried to go to Shibuya, which is where the big crossing in it is. The kids were all dressed up, I was dressed up. And you, you couldn't park anywhere close to anything. There were just so many people. We went to Disneyland and there was about... 48,000 Rapunzels and that. He like, is this the real one? Or? And what about just the mass of people and the size of Tokyo itself? How did you find that? It's it's unreal. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool to see. You get lost, like, um, you know, the Google Maps and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. Like, that's a, it's a relationship breaker, I tell you. Like, what about the bathhouses? Did you get there with Richard? He's got a few tattoos. Do they let him in? Uh, yeah, so um, you got to cover up. Uh, certain places, I think like Liam and, and that he was he was big on it. I just I always had a bath at home. I had baths every night. So I'm <laughs> I don't need to go out and try to find an onsen somewhere but but it's pretty cool, you know, go to an onsen and there's ten grown men sitting there nude, never met each other having a conversation, so it's <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and what I know Liam loves a bit of a carver ceremony over here. Did you guys ever get into the sake over there? Um oh we got into it like the 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 Japanese boys. It's horrible stuff. Oh, it's, it's what well, depends how drunk you are. Um, you know, they're like lemons. Especially when it's warm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. They, well, we had like a few team functions and um, they, they're fun to drink with the Japanese guys. Like they uh, we, we're in New Zealand, we do it a little bit wrong. Like they'll go for two, three hours. We might go to a dinner and bang, drink in and they'll go crazy for two, three hours faces will get red like every one of them just went red as it's brilliant and they get drunk and they seem to find their english just like when we get drunk we yeah. say oh you know drink a bit we start to find our japanese <laughs> speaking but um you know after that day oh, it's time to go home we're here in new zealand we five o'clock in the morning it's time to go home we, we do it a little bit wrong we're um but it's, it's a cool place to go over there and have some fun in that aspect yeah. 